Find all positive integers a, b and c, such that the roots of the system of equations are positive integers. We can see that, each equation is a quadratic equation, so we can work out x, by using the quadratic formula. For equation 1, the discriminate delta 1, equals negative 2a all squared, minus 4b, which is equal to, 4 times a squared minus b. And x equals 2a, plus or minus root of delta 1 over 2. Which is equal to, 2a plus or minus root of, 4 times a squared minus b over 2. Which can be simplified to, a plus or minus root of, a squared minus b. Because x a b and c are positive integers, so root of a squared minus b, must be less than a. That is, it must be less than or equal to, a minus 1 and the discriminate delta 1, must be a perfect square. Similarly, for equation 2, the discriminate delta 2, is equal to, 4 times b squared minus c. Root of b squared minus c, must be less than or equal to, b minus 1. And the discriminate delta 2, must be a perfect square. For equation 3, the discriminate delta 3, is equal to, 4 times c squared minus a. Root of c squared minus a, must be less than or equal to, c minus 1. And the discriminate delta 3, must be a perfect square. As root of a squared minus b, is less than or equal to, a minus 1, so a squared minus b, is less than or equal to, a minus 1 all squared. a minus 1 all squared, equals a squared, minus 2a plus 1. a squared on the left hand side and that on the right side of the inequality, cancel. So we have, b is greater than or equal to, 2a minus 1. Similarly, as root of b squared minus c, is less than or equal to, b minus 1, so b squared minus c, is less than or equal to, b minus 1 all squared. b minus 1 all squared, equals b squared, minus 2b plus 1. b squared on the left hand side, and that on the right side of the inequality, cancel. So we have, c is greater than or equal to, 2b minus 1. As root of c squared minus a, is less than or equal to, c minus 1, so c squared minus a, is less than or equal to, c minus 1 all squared. c minus 1 all squared, equals c squared, minus 2c plus 1. c squared on the left hand side, and that on the right side of the inequality, cancel. So we have, a is greater than or equal to, 2c minus 1. Now we have three inequalities in a, b and c. Substitute inequality 5, in inequality 6, we have, a is greater than or equal to, 2 times 2b minus 1, minus 1. Which is equal to, 4b minus 3. From inequality 4, we know that, b is greater than or equal to, 2a minus 1. So we can now write, is greater than or equal to, 4 times 2a minus 1, minus 3. Which is equal to, 8a minus 7. So we have, a is greater than or equal to, 8a minus 7. That is, 7a is less than or equal to 7. Thus, a is less than or equal to 1. Similarly, from inequalities, 4, 5 and 6, we can derive that, b is less than or equal to 1, and c is less than or equal to 1. As a, b and c are positive integers, so a, b, c, equals 1, 1, 1. It is easy to verify when a, b, c, equals 1, 1, 1, each equation becomes, x squared, minus 2x, plus 1, equals 0. That is, x minus 1 all squared, equals 0. So x equals 1, which is a positive integer. So abc, equals 111, is the only solution.